This is GIT University hosting the grand finale of Smart India Hackathon 2022 and we have our respected judges with us so let's interact with them. So ma'am, as an evaluator, what all things do you think that a project should contain so that it can be considered as a notable one? Actually, uh, first of all, I would want to say I'm very much privileged to be the evaluator in this round and uh, actually this is the first time I'm doing it. So I'm very much excited as well. And what I have seen, all the teams performed really well and every, each and every team had a different kind of creativity and technology they've used and uh, all the graphical patterns which they have used were different from one another. So I feel everyone was very good in their own ways. But somehow uh, there are some points which we should always uh, keep in mind while evaluating everything. So I think for me, uh, the security and the technology Initially is the first two points which we should keep in our mind, okay, because uh, everything should be very much future oriented and uh, the rest, uh, some of the points which I think is really important while judging them would be their solution approach. How much solution have they taken out of the problem statement which was given to them? Okay, and another thing is the user experience. Like for example, a layman, if he or she uses it for the first time, so what is the user's experience? How is he or she feeling? Is the thing complex or smooth to run? So that is something which is uh, important for me. And uh, yes, um, all in all, I feel uh, uh, really privileged to uh, be here and judging all the teams and to be interacting with all of them and uh, suggesting them in their projects that this is this is the things which you should implement for the betterment of your project and so that it can be future oriented also okay so i think that's it thank you ma'am so as the number of years of conducting smart india hackathon increases does the performance of the participants evolve in the same manner uh, yeah so uh, let me first of all uh, uh, tell you that I am much privileged to be part of the evaluation team. Uh, I have been part of the evaluation team since last two editions even. Uh, what we are seeing, uh, but unfortunately last two editions we are able to conduct on, in an online mode only because of the COVID restrictions. Uh, though we are unable to see the students uh, physically present at a one, uh, one venue, but we are seeing this uh, after two years students again coming back to one venue from different parts of the country and we have been able to interact uh, with all the teams um, so looking into um, what you asked is uh, definitely um, every year the problem statements uh, hosted uh, by different organizations are different and uh, I have been evaluating uh, on different problem aspects in last three years. So this year's problem, aspe uh, problem aspect which we are evaluating is uh, one of the statements from AICT where the students are working on uh, how to make the password secure. Okay, so keeping that in view, I would say uh, definitely the students have come up with much uh, innovative ideas. Um, uh, it's not like I would uh, I would be comparing this with the previous batch students because I evaluated them on a different idea, different on on a different idea statement. So yes, the students are doing fine, and uh, young minds have come up with very bright ideas, and they are uh, really uh, coming up to the expectations of the judges. Thank you. Thank you, sir. We feel pleasure talking to you. Thank you so much. Thank you so Thank much. You. Thank you, ma'am. Participated in SIH and we won for the first time. 
Amazed, we're totally amazed. We are surprised. We are excited. We are so happy. Yeah, yeah. like it's worst thing. And how do words to speak? Yeah. So, guys, make some noise. Congratulations. We have team warriors with us. Guys, you are finally, finally the winner of Smart India Hackathon 2022. Yeah. So, how do you guys feel? Our fourth time with this smart new hackathon, so we are very excited. And one more thing, we have to share that our KL University is this time having two uh, two teams who won, who was going to participate in different places. So this time, our two teams are winner for this is a smart new hackathon. So this is a very big achievement for us because earlier only I was means my team was winner every time, other team was not winner. But this time both teams are winner. That is a good achievement. Congratulations, guys! Make some noise! So very good evening, one and all present here. I am Sitanshu Mitra, the founder of Job School. As Dave sir initiated the talk, how is the Josh now? How is the Josh? How is the Josh? That should be the spirit of S I H 2022. We are getting closer to the you know announcement of the results, but trust me, guys, it was very difficult for us to decide who is going to tell you know. We are winner because in our eyes, as evaluators, we are nobody to decide. Because I have learned it from one of the professors from IIT Kharagpur, Professor Rajiv Mal. We are nobody to decide who is the, going to be the winner. Because at that point of time, something may go wrong. Because this has happened by taking the decision, and it was really tough for us to take that harsh decision. And we really feel from our inside that it's. Had it been the second chance we could give to the next team, then definitely would have loved to give the second chance. But Dave sir knows what I am talking about. But still, then hats off to all you guys. I am coming to the hospitality part of EIT. As Ma'am rightly said, two things: S I H. Second is S I H and G I E T. Atiti Deva Baba. In in two sense, we should learn from the management. From the student volunteers, uh, from the coordinators, and as the honourable vice president and honourable president of the university says that whosoever comes to GIT University falls in love with the campus and with the people of GIT. And I must say, sir, and take this opportunity that all of us have already felt in love with GIT, and we are really thankful and grateful to all of you to have hosted this event here. And We would love to come here again and again. Thank you all. Here we have the man behind the entire success of Smart India Hackathon 2022, hosted by GIT University, Gunapur, Odisha, respected Dr. Subrajit Pradhan sir with us. So, what do you like to say on the grand success of Smart India Hackathon 2022? I would like to congratulate to all of my team members. especially the student coordinators faculty coordinators and all the staff coordinators and this is this is a new kind of thing we have experienced because first time we are organizing in offline mode and people are coming from different places of over the country and we have organized in such a manner so that we got a excellent feedback for all the participants mentor on all the guests this credit goes to all the coordinators especially faculty student and staff coordinator thank you thank you sir